Hello everybody, I'm Scotty and I'm going to give you detailed instructions on how you can go from compost pile to compost roller for only a few dollars and a couple hours of your time. Ready? Well then, let's go! This is my first attempt at home composting. The tarp is there because we've had some heavy rains this season. But I wanted something better than just a pile so I decided to build my own compost roller, and you can too. Here's the hardware you'll need. A barrel. I'll talk about these a little bit later. And the following mounting hardware. You can pause and write these down at your leisure. I purchased these items at my local Walmart. It's a good idea to purchase zinc plated hardware so it will last a number of years. Tools you'll need include a drill with half inch and 732nds bits. The half inch bit is to drill air holes in the barrel. The 732nds bit is to mount your hardware. You'll also need either a jigsaw, keyhole saw, or half framed hacksaw. A full frame hacksaw won't work. I didn't have any of those nifty tools handy, so I used a heavy duty utility knife. And I strongly recommend that if you do use a utility knife, you get a new blade, especially if your compost barrel is made of thick plastic like mine was. You'll also need a screwdriver and a wrench to tighten your bolts. Now a little word about the barrels I found. I read someone's excellent suggestion on the internet about where to look for free barrels to use for composting. This person's forum post suggested we try to find spent chemical barrels at nearby car washes. So I drove to my neighborhood full service car wash. I spoke directly with the manager and asked if he had any empty barrels I could use for my garden. I said I knew he probably had someone to remove his empty barrels, but would he consider giving me one or two? He admitted that his barrels were normally removed when emptied, but it, then he said, let me see what I can find. He and I walked around the back of the car wash, and he rolled out these two beauties. I thanked him heartily and loaded them onto my truck. The solutions in both barrels were fully biodegradable, so I just rinsed them out with my garden hose. Next. Take your half inch drill bit and drill a number of holes around the side of your barrel so your compost mixture can breathe. Hey, how'd that get in there? Like I said, drill holes around the side of your barrel. Next, find a rectangular space on the side of your barrel and mark it for cutting. I drilled half inch holes in each corner of my rectangle as starter holes for my utility knife. Before you cut, it's a good idea to pre-place all your hardware and mark on your barrel where you'll be drilling your mounting holes. As you see here, do this for all your mounting hardware. Grandchildren can be excellent assistants at this point in the process. Here's a good shot of the marks I made for my door panel. Next, cut out your rectangular panel. I used the utility knife, which was a bit difficult because of the barrel's thickness, but I loved the nice smooth surfaces the knife left. I'll explain why these smooth surfaces gave me trouble at the end of this video. Nearly there, and finished. As you can see, these particular barrels were 2.2 millimeters in thickness, so an electric saw would have been faster and easier than my utility knife. Next, drill the remaining marked holes with your smaller drill bit and loosely attach your hardware to the panel and to the barrel. You'll tighten everything in a minute after you ensure it all fits together. Close your barrel up, 
making sure everything fits appropriately. And if it does, finish tightening down your hardware. For added corrosion protection, I put a dab of silicone sealant on the inside of each of the bolts. Now here's where my design glitches showed up. After all my hardware was tightened down, I closed the door and found the utility knife hadn't created any tolerance between the panel and the barrel, which made it difficult to completely close the door. But design glitches aside, I was very pleased with this project. I hope you've enjoyed this movie and have seen how you too can inexpensively join the world of home composters. Now go out there and degrade.